Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is word pattern. So in this question, you're given a string called pattern and you're also given a string as consisting of multiple words or a single word. Now we have to check if the words present inside this string are following this pattern or not. So what do you mean by follow is that each letter inside the pattern corresponds to a word inside the string as and we have to return true or false as our output based on whether the string is following the pattern or not. So here as you can see, this is the pattern given to us and this is the string as given to us. We have to match the letters inside that pattern with the words present inside this string as. So let's take this example and see how we can solve this question. So the first check you have to see is that if there are length of the pattern and the length of the string are both equal or not. Because as I mentioned, every letter inside this pattern substitutes to a corresponding word. So if that condition is failing, you can return false as the output. And now we proceed further. As you can see, A corresponds to dog, B corresponds to cat, B corresponds to cat again, and A corresponds to dog again. So this example follows the pattern, hence you return true as the output. Now let's implement these steps in code by using hash map because we have to match the pattern inside the string. So let's use a hash map and see how we can solve this question. So as I mentioned, let's take two hash maps, one for the pattern and one for the strings present inside the string s. So first I'm splitting all the words present inside this string s and storing it inside an array so you can access them using a for loop. S will be formed into a words array. And now I'm doing the base check I mentioned, like finding the length of this pattern and finding the length of the string. If they're both not equal, we can return false as the output. If it is equal, we can proceed further. Now let's iterate using a while loop as the length of both words array and this pattern is going to be same. I can use a single loop to access the characters present inside this uh, pattern and also the character and also the array elements present inside this words. So I is now pointing at the first character and i is now pointing at the first element inside the array. So I'm accessing the character using ch and accessing the words using the variable word. Now I'm going to fill these hash maps based on if that word or pattern is already accessed or not. So if the char map does not contain the character ch, ch is now pointing at a. If it is not having a, yes it is not having a, so you come inside the if statement. Now you again check if inside this words array you're not having the word, no, we are not having because we just started. So this else block will be executed. Inside else block, you are filling the filling both the maps. So A and the word is dog, right? Because I is pointing here. And opposite inside the word map, key will be the string and the value is going to be the character. Now let's proceed further. In the next iteration, I is going to point at B. The next iteration, I is going to point at cat. Now again we are checking if the character B is not present inside the char map, it is not present so fill in so it will come inside. We are checking if the word map contains cat or not because I is pointing at cat, no it is not present. So we again execute this else block where we are filling both the maps B cat and cat B. Now let us go for the next iteration, I is pointing at this B and I is pointing at this cat. Now we are going to check. Now we are going to check if the character ch is present inside the char map. Yes, ch is pointing at b. B is already present inside the map, so it won't go. So else block will be executed. So inside the else block, first I'm accessing the word present inside the uh, value section for that character. So word map is now having cat because I'm using the get method for ch. Ch get of b gives you cat. So I'm storing that inside the mapped word variable. Now I'm checking if the mapped word variable and this i are both pointing at the same word. Yes, it is pointing at cat. Yes, it is pointing at cat. So here you can clarify that b which was initially pointing to cat, the current variable i is also pointing at cat. So it means that the pattern is being followed. Now let's go for the next iteration. The next iteration i is pointing at a. And in the words array, it is pointing at dog. Now we are checking again. The current iterator is pointing at A. So we get A. A is already present inside. So we execute the else block. This if block will not be executed. So we come into the else block. We get the mapped word. Uh, we get the 
A is pointing at. So CH is A, right? CareMap.getOf A will give you this word dog. So we are storing dog inside this variable mapped word and we are checking if mapped word is equals to word. So current word is pointing at dog and this is also pointing at dog. Both are equal. So this statement will be skipped and we go for the next iteration. And in the next iteration, you reach the end of the pattern and also reach the end of the array. You come out of the for loop and you return true as the output, which means that this pattern is being followed by the words present inside the string S. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n, where n is the length of the string and the space complexity is also O of n because you are using a hash map to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.